What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Lisa Elizabeth. On today's video, get ready with me for brunch in Miami. If you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. Before we get into this look, let's get into this sponsorship. Today's video is sponsored by Skin Investments. Y'all heard me time and time again. They are the one and not the two, babe. When it comes to smooth and glowing skin, they got the recipe. Skin Investments Body & Co. is 100% organic and handmade product line. They have a variety of items from whipped butter to shower oils, cuticle oil, lip scrubs, body scrubs, you name it, they got it. In today's video, I'll be finishing up this look with their whipped body butter. Do y'all see that glow? If you want to try it out for yourself, use code Lisa E, that's L-I-E-S-A-E -E for 15% off. When I say run, don't walk, run and go get you some, sis. Allow your skin to profit with skin investments. Now let's run it back real quick. All right, so right now I have my eye patches on and they've been on for about 10 minutes. So I'm about to take them off and then wash my face real quick and get to it. Y'all, I literally have not worn makeup the whole time that I was here. So I'm like, okay, this is my last day. Let me get cute. Okay, let me get cute on these folks and beat my face a little bit. Since it's the last day, I might as well. Might as well. Not to say the natural face ain't been getting. Okay. We're not seeing that, babe. All right, so while this is drying, let's talk about it. Solo trips. I know it can be kind of scary to, you know, go somewhere and venture out by yourself. But when I say I have the best times by myself, for one, as far as safety goes, everyone in my immediate family and my close friends has my location at all times. And then I keep my Apple Watch on me whenever I'm out and about, just so, you know, like people can know where I'm at from that as well, just in case my phone dies. And for two, just making sure that you're on guard and always paying attention to your surroundings and what's going on around you. That's extremely important when traveling by yourself. And then last but not least, just enjoy yourself. I'm currently in Miami right now on a solo trip. And before I even got here, I set out an itinerary for myself. Before I get into that, I'm about to pencil out my brows with my Kiss Sculpting Brow Pencil. And I love this because it has dual sides. I usually shake my brow with this side and then outline it with this side. Before I even got here, I set out an itinerary for myself. So I knew that like day one, I was gonna go shopping and then go to dinner. And then day two, I knew I was gonna do a spa day and just relax and try to like catch up on video and film and then go to dinner, of course. And now we're on day three and I am going to go to brunch and then head to the airport. I have a pretty late flight. And everybody that needs to know knows exactly where I'm at and what I'm doing. So, you know, that's a safety precaution for me. And whenever I'm walking around and exploring or even getting an Uber by myself, I'm usually on the phone with someone. But yeah, those are just some of the things that I do for my sanity and safety, just to make sure like people know where I'm at and what I'm doing when I am on a solo trip. But other than that, I truly make sure that I enjoy myself. I've never really ran into any issues. This is probably my third solo trip. And honestly, they all have been going pretty well. Haven't ran into any weirdos or feel uncomfortable in any way. So they will continue. Now I'm about to go in with my Fenty Beauty But yeah, the solo trips have just begun and they're not ending anytime soon. Even when I do get in a relationship, I feel like these will still be necessary to my like mental state to just get away and do stuff on my time. Like, 
I didn't rush myself with anything. Um, I could get up and get ready at 10 o'clock or I can get up and get ready at six o'clock. Whatever I decided to do, I could do it on my time. And I know a lot of times when we go on trips with friends and other people, like we want to be considerate of their time. So we're like rushing or trying to figure out what they want to do or come to a mutual agreement. And I didn't have to do that. Day one, I said I was going to go to dinner and then I decided not to. So I didn't go and I just picked up tacos. So. I know that probably would have been a big deal if I was with other people and they wanted to go to dinner. And I honestly didn't feel like getting dressed up and doing all that. So that's my favorite part about doing solo trips. And now I'm using my Smashbox primer. But yeah, just adventuring and doing what I want when I want. Enjoying my me time. And I got a lot of work done while I was here. I was able to film, make a couple TikToks, vlog. But I also know like it can be overbearing when I'm walking around with my camera and stuff when I'm with my friends. So I try to be mindful when I'm with them and on vacation, which all of them know I vlog. Nobody minds at all, but I still, you know, sometimes you just want to be present in the moment and not have your camera in everyone's face. So when I'm on a solo trip and I vlog, and that's one less thing for me to think about. Now I'm about to go in with my Lacone. This is shade 510. Cool. I've been using this foundation for years and I don't think I've found anything better. So, this is it. This the one, y'all. And it probably seems like I'm doing this super fast, y'all, but it don't take me long to do my makeup at all. I keep it real simple, real cute. I might need to line up these brows a bit the front because they're looking very bold. But yeah, I encourage everybody to do a solo trip at least once in your lifetime. And don't be scared about it. Just make sure that you take the proper precautions for your safety and you are good to go. I promise you will enjoy yourself. Okay, I think that looks better. Now I'm going back in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer and going under the eye. You heard it here first, do it. You only got one life, leave it. Like go out and do and explore and adventure and live life. That's what it's all about. Making memories and enjoying experiences. This light is like, here we go. This brush is still damp. I washed all my brushes before I came on my trip. I made it like three days, why is this still wet? But I guess that works cause this concealer is blending perfectly. Yeah, that's it right there, baby. This is it. We love a good makeup day. Now I'm going in with my translucent powder. This light, I hope it's not too bright for y'all. Let me see if I can. If this makes it better. I don't know, it just seems super freaking bright. But whatever. And it probably looked like I got buku powder on, but I have oily skin. So I be having to cover up those areas that get real oily. So while I'm baking, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my contour and I'm using the True Complexion by Black Radiance. Yeah, this is medium to dark. And a little goes a long way. Now let's blend, blend, blend. But yeah, y'all, I've had so much fun on this trip by my lonesome. I have really enjoyed myself. I can't wait to come back to Miami with my girls so we can go clubbing. And that's another thing, y'all. When I go on solo trips by myself, I don't really go clubbing or like go to a lot of bars. And if I do, I only get like one drink and leave. I'm not getting turned up or just lit on a solo trip. No, ma'am. I'm going to keep that for the girl's shoot when I know I got people around me that are watching out for me. <laughs> but yeah, don't go on no solo trip by yourself. And you know, with all these safety steps I tell you, go to a bar and get fucked up where you can't remember. I know y'all smarter than that already, but I just thought I would say that. Because, yeah, that's one thing I'm not going to do. I don't really go to bars and stuff. Like, well, I'm not going to lie. Because my solo trip to Chicago, I did go to a couple bars. Matter of fact, I went to a couple rooftop bars, but I literally had one drink at each bar and then I had to walk to the next bar 
and I only went to like three, I think. So yeah. And as soon as I started feeling like I was getting a little too lit, I was like, let me go ahead and head back to my hotel, cool. Yeah. And nobody trying to get snatched, no stranger danger. Ain't nobody got time for this. So yeah, I said have fun, but baby, don't have too much fun. My mama has always told me, never put yourself in a situation that you physically can't get yourself out of. So always make sure that you're watching your own back and don't do too much, sis. Don't do too much. And y'all, how about I think I love my freaking lipstick? I've been wearing lip gloss all weekend. I didn't bring any lip liner, no lip color. So this is gonna be a very natural look today even though I've been giving natural all weekend. It's like an elevated natural, you know? Now I'm gonna use my MAC mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I put these lashes on yesterday and did not take them off last night, so I don't have to put on lashes. And I sleep pretty y'all, if y'all wonder how, <laughs> how I keep on strip lashes overnight. I do not sleep on my face. I sleep like a pretty princess, for real. <laughs> now I'm gonna add a little blush. This palette came from Sephora. And let's use orange. I don't know, I'm just feeling like, let's just like it up a Where am I in? It's kind of sunny outside. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I expected like warm tropical weather when I got here. And it's been, it's been warm. Not, it has been warm. Let me not say that it hasn't, but it has been like super cloudy and it like sprinkled here and there a couple days. So it hasn't been like that real true and sunny Miami weather that I was hoping for when I came on vacation here, but, but it's still been super nice. I am so mad I left my freaking lip liner, but we got a little way around it. So I'm gonna use my contour powder and this little brush here. And I'm just gonna line my lip like so. It's not as dark as I usually have, but it'll do. And because I don't have any pink lip gloss, I'm just gonna use this pink palette for my blush kit. I don't even know how this gonna look, y'all, but I gotta have some type of color on my lip. Then add a little lip gloss on top. Let's see. Now I'm gonna use my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Okay, so I'm not really digging the lips, but I had to make it do what it do. But yeah, I like the look. Is the makeup giving what it's supposed to give? Now for this hair, I've been wearing a bun all weekend. And guess what, I'm gonna put it in the bun right now. But I might just end up wearing it down like this. This is kind of cute. We'll see. I have to put on my outfit and then do my hair. So let's go ahead and go do this. shirt i feel like this is a real cute monochromatic moment even though they're not the same green they still look really good together and then i have gold hardware on the purse gold hardware on my shoes gold earrings i think i'm going to keep this same um i think i'm going to keep on the same gold jewelry i've been having on all weekend i don't really know how i'm feeling this lip but, but i mean we got to work with what we got what y'all think about me throwing on this jacket
Jacket or no jacket? I don't know. Because I feel like something's missing. I might end up keeping my hair like this too. But today's perfume is Versace Bright Crystal. So I'm just going to pop this open. I don't know, jacket or no jacket. <laughs> I'm going to bring it. But yeah, this is the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, you only got one life. Live it up. Make sure that you set out some time to take a solo trip for yourself. I promise you, it's the ultimate self-care experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like this. And until the next video, bye babes.